Welcome to the Upcycle Canada podcast. I'm Jennifer, and together with my husband Dave, we started with an idea, worked on it as a side hustle, and grew it into our our first eco-friendly store. At Upcycle Canada, we repurpose, refinish, and reuse discarded items, giving them new life. Sit in on the conversation as we continue to grow from a small side hustle into something much more. Special guests will drop by and share their journey with you as well. This is the most eco-friendly small business podcast in your favorites. This is Upcycle Canada, where yesterday's items are reborn. Let's do this. Hey everyone, it's Dave here at Upcycle Canada. We wanted to put out a few podcast episodes this week. We're going to try a short daily podcast leading up to Friday, April 22nd, 2022, which is Earth Day. And for us, Earth Day is like our celebration. Everything that we do at Upcycle Canada is all about repurposing and saving things from the landfill, diverting things from waste, and working with some outstanding vendors who have taken up the challenge and the idea that they can make a difference, even in small little steps towards making the world better. And what I love about when thinking about Earth Day every year, and this is our first year having a podcast to address it. Normally we do this on social media, share it with our audience, but we wanted to share it with a broader audience. The whole idea of how we can make a difference on Earth Day here on the Upcycle Canada podcast. So as you probably heard many times in the past over the podcast that you hear that I work night shift. So I work night shift at probably the biggest retailer in the world, stocking shelves and then covering the store and doing our side hustle business through a global pandemic. And this week, this huge store that I work for is switching off the plastic bags. It's going to be an interesting day on Friday, April 22nd, when this happens, because we will see our customers' real reaction to cutting down plastics that are going into the landfill. The convenience of having a plastic bag for five cents at the cash register is gone as of Friday. So I applaud the fact that they are taking a step. It's taken a long time for them to get there, but they're taking steps forward. I'm interested to see what the customer's reactions are going to be as this takes place. Earth Day is all about thinking about how we can make a positive change and being a part of the solution. And I'm on the Earth Day official website as I'm recording, and they have a quote here from Thomas Edison. There's a way to do it better. Find it. And that's what we are all about. And here at Upcycle Canada, we We have some of the best connections and contacts and guests on our podcast who are, like I said, making steps forward. And whether you're doing something small in your a room in your house and you're doing a little bit here and there, we've talked about this many times. It's that starfish keeps coming back again. Every little thing that we do, whether we are the biggest company in the world or A small vendor working out of our home on a side hustle. When sustainability is your key focus, you are contributing to a world of change. And that's what Earth Day is all about this year. So we're going to celebrate Earth Day with daily podcast updates and talk a little bit more about how we can invest in our planet, how we can be better with our money, As a consumer, you have an immense power with that debit, credit, card, cash, your wallet, your purse, whatever. What you spend your money on and where you put your attention is where the the people who are selling follow. So invest in your planet by how you shop. And for those customers that are going to be quite upset or caught off guard, or unaware that as of April 22nd, the largest uh, retailer in Canada and America and probably around the world 
for here in Canada on April 22nd, there's no more plastic bags. It's going to be an interesting day. And I'm wondering how you are going to react when a step towards something better in life inconveniences you. How are you going to respond? Will you be upset? Will you understand? Will you cheer? Will you protest? You can stand with a sign in your hand and and tell people that you're all about saving the earth. But there's also, how do you spend your money? That is also a display of saving the planet and investing in Earth Day. The theme for Earth Day this year in 2022 is invest in our planet. How are you investing in our planet? What are you doing? What steps are you taking? How can you make a difference? Keep following the Upcycle Canada podcast as we have more great vendors doing their part every day to make this place a better place. So just a short one today. We'll have another one. And tomorrow we're going to try to do a podcast episode each day this week, leading up to Friday, Earth Day 2022. Go out there and invest in your planet. It's Earth Day 2022, April 22nd. Thanks for listening to the Upcycle Canada podcast. Thank you for coming and making time for us and making us part of your routine. We appreciate it. So send us the key word for this podcast. You can hide it here at the end. You ready? I know Samantha's ready. She's probably going to write this down right now. Our secret Easter egg. For junebird.ca listening and revive the tea and Stan Rutherford pianos and do re mi bracelets, etc. There's so many. Funky Upbeats. There's so many great vendors out there. Our secret word today is Earth Day. Earth Day. Send that to us in a DM, comment, email. And let's make a difference this week, guys. One little step at a time. You can do this. You're doing it. You've heard the vendors. You've heard them on the podcast. Great vendors and great guests coming up. All making little steps forward. Thank you for being part of this solution. Thank you for listening to the Upcycle Canada podcast. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow. 